This is video number 16 for cello players. In this video, we're going to be learning to play number 23 through number 25 in your Essential Elements book. So of course, you would both understand your instrument with the ins and out and your rock stop signature. So before we do this, I do want to do a little bit of echoing. And that the echoing that you're doing with me is serving a couple of purposes. First of all, when we echo, you don't have to think about what note is on the page. All you have to think about is what note you are playing, and you can focus on a good hand position. The other thing you're doing is building strength in your hands and building it with the proper habits and the proper position. Remember, every time you pick up your instrument to play, you are developing habits. Make sure they are the correct habits. You don't want to have to break bad habits later on. So very, you have to do a lot of self-monitoring and learning this way, but you can do this. You just got to make sure that when your fingers are on, they are perpendicular to the string, they are curved, they are coming down and pressing the string in from the top, not collapsing down like this, and all of those things. So I want to do a little bit of the old notes first, meaning the notes on the D string, okay? Because I feel the D string notes are harder to play because it is a thicker string. You've got to use more weight. I'm hoping by now most of you have a good sounding G. Play two Gs and two F sharps to start with. Echo me. G, G, F sharp, F sharp. Go. G, G, F sharp, F sharp. Now G to E. G, G, E, E. Go. G, G, E, E. Now G, F sharp, G, F sharp. G, F sharp, G, F sharp. Go. G, F sharp, G, F sharp. This is going to be a little bit trickier. G to E, G to E. You got to smack them all down at the same time, pick them up, smack them down, pick them up. You don't, don't do it one at a time. It's going to be too slow. G, straight to E. Echo me. G, E, G, E. Go. G, E, G, E. Now, I want you to go two open Ds and two F sharps. D, D. Pick up your fingers. And I think we've done the 
this in a video before. You might be thinking, but open D has no fingers down. It has no fingers down on the D string. Put your fingers on the A string. Do you need your, your four fingers in the A string to play open D? Absolutely not. You'll see in a minute why we're doing that. High D, open D, high D, open D. Try that. I'm sorry. Do two high Ds, two open Ds first. High D, high D, keep them down, open D. Now your fingers are still on the A string, but you've plucked the D string. Two high Ds, two open Ds, and try that again. High D, high D, open D, open D. Now go high D, open D, high D, open D. This is why we're keeping them down so that you don't have to pick them up and put them back down each time. Going to create good habits. Keeping your fingers down as long as possible helps us to play clean and not have extra sound. It also helps you play faster as well. High D, open D, high D, open D. So me, high D, open D, high D, open D. So high D, open D, high D, open D. All right, now I want you to go ahead and open up in your book to page number 10. And on page 10, we're going to be looking at number 23. 23 is let's read D. Now in the previous video we learned actually how to read high D. Remember high D is above the first ledger line. Don't recognize it by the fact that there is a D in there. Recognize it by the fact that, well, it lives right above the first ledger line. So let's read high D. 23. 23. Let's read D. Watch your music. Red C and go. D. 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 Rex. skip the easy ones because you can always find something to work on. Work on perfect posture and position. Work on strengthening your hand and endurance. Work on training your eyes to follow along with the music. Work on being exactly what you're doing. Go on to number 24. If you think you could do 23 better, stop the video and do it again. Go on to number 24 now. 24. C sharp. C sharp. Three fingers. C sharp is on the first ledger line and right to go. C sharp has my high D hovered above, but it's not down. I'm pressing it hard with my left hand, but I'm not collapsing my fingers like that. Bad. Good. Okay. Now going on to number 25. This just has high D and C sharp. That's it. High D and C sharp. But you definitely need to be watching that music because it does change. 25. 25. Take high off. D and C sharp. Three fingers, four fingers in the A string, then three fingers for C sharp. High D. And pick up for C sharp. Back down for high D. Check out your hand position if you can. If you can, freeze at the end. Freeze. Now look at your left hand. How are your fingers? Perpendicular to the string, curved, thumb is behind second finger and bit. Where's your elbow? Check yourself. Check yourself. Fix. Don't let them collapse. Okay? Practice those with good posture, with good hand position, with strong hand position, and get those to where you can play right with the recording before you try to move on to the next video. The next video will go on to a few, learn a few more new things.